What is goody gang gang? It is your girl John Arminetta, aka the Village J, and we are back with another video. If you are new to my channel, hey, how you doing? And if you are already subscribed, what is good? Good to see you. So, actually, good to see you in this new year. So, this is the first video of me actually talking in the new year. So, welcome to the new year, people. So, people really felt touched by me sharing my story which is so crazy to me just as much as it is to them that there's somebody else in this world experiencing some of the same things that they're going through you are never alone but hit me up and ask me to share some tips on how to stay focused during a school year and you know to maintain your grades get good grades and everything so that is why i am creating this video today so if you are a college student and you need some tips on how to stay focused, how to get all your homework done, how to get those A's, that's what you want to do. These are some great tips. And um, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> with you guys more so please drop your ig names drop your twitter names down below i find myself struggling to talk to people but i feel like if i can connect with y'all it would be so much easier and we could talk more um so yeah my instagram i'm gonna leave it up here on the screen somewhere around here be sure to hit me up be sure to drop yours down below and um yeah, let's just connect. Focusing focus on getting good grades is like the main thing to getting your financial aid back. So I'm going to share some tips on things that I've done or tips that I actually reached out to other people and got from resources, reliable resources, on how to stay focused throughout the semester and secure the good grades so we can secure this bag so we can stop paying out of pocket for financial aid. Duh. I can guarantee if you follow these tips, you will make great grades this semester i know like for some people they started school already for the spring semester but if you have not this video is just in time i have not if you don't know i have gone back to school um originally it was supposed to be for hair but now it's business so i'm in school for business and i definitely need some tips on how to stay focused because it is so it's harder to do now because i'm into like my career and i have a lot of other other obligations going on in my life and i'm learning this degree online which gives me free time yes but i still have to make sure that i'm on top of my classes my grades everything so these tips that i'm going to be sharing are going to be really reliable resourceful for you and for me and i'm gonna stick to it as long as you know i have somebody in there doing it with me because y'all is hard to get good grades in school especially being so young and you know dealing with life and all this other stuff but i'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna get into the video and yeah like i said drop your ig names and stuff down below we gonna stay motivated drop a motivational quote down below if you have one yeah we're gonna be strong this year okay i hit up some reliable resources in my first tip to being consistent and focused throughout the semester would be to stay on top of the syllabus i'm looking down i'm looking at my notes stay on top of the syllabus period so in the beginning of your semester usually professors they'll give you a syllabus of basically what's to be expected in the class like upcoming exams upcoming assignments upcoming quizzes all those things so you know what's going on and alongside that on there it will say what you'll be learning that week in school or that day in class if your professor does not do this switch classes hello no sorry a friend of mine she actually told me that she would print hers print out her syllabus usually like the last page of the syllabus because they can get kind of long so the pages that have like the printout of the complete schedule for the semester she would print them out and put them on her wall and as the weeks go by she highlights them and you know just staying on track of like what's going on she could see what's happening what's coming what's already here what she should have did and x y and z so 
printing out your syllabus and making sure that it's right there is a perfect way to stay on top of the semester. You'll be prepared. You'll know what's happening. And yeah, if you have a dorm room, you could, I don't know, I think you could use tape on the walls. You have your own bedroom in like an apartment or a house or somewhere. You could put it up on the wall or something. Or even you could put it in a binder and flip through it. You know, whichever is more resourceful for you, utilize it. Another great thing about pointing out your syllabus is that you can actually look at the syllabus and highlight the assignments that you have completed and the ones that you haven't completed. You'll automatically know like, hey, I didn't do this one because it's not even highlighted. Or if the teacher makes a change throughout the semester, you can easily like cross it out, write in whatever else you want in there or whatever they supplement that assignment for or that quiz for. There's so many different things that you can get away with and still stay on track. The next tip I have is to use a planner to track your classes and to track the due dates. So say for instance, you don't want to print out your syllabus or you do want to print out your syllabus and you also have a planner, a school planner. Um, you could have a school planner, you could have a homework app. I'm sure if you don't have Blackboard or Can Canvas, I think it's called Canvas, or other like platforms that your school uses to help you stay focused on like well to help you like access your classes easier and all the information for your classes whatever platform you guys use I'm sure there's an app available you download that app use that app sometimes the app will send you notifications on when things are due sometimes there's a calendar in there for you to schedule out your um, assignments and things like that it's just it makes the class more easily accessible so if you haven't looked into that, I would definitely look into that. Tip number three is definitely going to be when you have, tip number three is going to be when you begin studying to eliminate all distractions. When I say all distractions, literally all distractions. I'm a type of person where I'm easily distracted. And when I say easily distracted, I'll be like, oh, look at that dust bunny. Like simple things just take my eye away and then I'm like oh off the la la land and then it's just like so if you are easily distracted or if you notice that when you study you always have like the music on or you may have the tv on because you need some noise or you have your headphones in listening to a podcast or you're doing something you're always doing something besides looking at your work then that's a distraction. This is actually a million dollar tip. A million dollar man dropped this tip. He eliminates all distractions. One thing he does supplement it for is music, but not just any type of music, instrumental music. So instrumental music that I like to listen to while I do my homework would be meditation mantras. I find them so soothing and I'm not sitting there waiting for the lyrics like I know it's an instrumental I know that it's not supposed to be something that I'm rapping along to or singing along to while I do my homework that's not how you get work done that's a distraction if you're listening to all the you know all the Ariana Grande's or all the Cardi B's and all that stuff cut it all out next tip what kind of tie in the tip number two plan out your assignments so the second tip mentioned use a planner but now we're going to plan out our assignments. So if you know that you have a research paper due at the end of the semester, write that into your planner. You have a research paper due at the end of the semester. Then write out what you have to do to accomplish a, a, a successful research paper throughout that semester so that you're not there at the last minute cramming everything into it and you know you get a bad grade because it's just not well thought out you know planning it over an entire semester can help you achieve the best grade and also get help in between the time if you need help be realistic give yourself an hour for each assignment give yourself two hours for each assignment give yourself a scheduled time limit for those assignments throughout your day throughout your week so that you can get it done and you can move forward on to the next thing and you're not worried about it and you can get the best grade Study with block schedules. So block scheduling, if you haven't heard of it before, is when you take out a certain amount of time for your 
for work, basically. It could be your work here is the assignment. So you take out a specific amount of time for your assignment and you take out a specific amount of time for your break. And your break can include all your distractions that you turned off to do your work. So you could have block scheduling of 20 minutes of work, five minutes of doing whatever you want to do. Then you have another 20 minutes of work, five minutes of doing whatever you want to do. And just repeat it four times and next thing you know, you'll be done with your assignment. Or you could do 40 minutes of work, 20 minutes of break. It's really whatever you want to do. But always schedule, like allow yourself some time to like relax, okay? Assignments aren't meant to stress you out. Just be cool, relax, do a little bit of work, and then do whatever you want to do. And then come back to the work a little bit later. Because you deserve it, honestly. You do. You get to write out notes. So while in class, you can take notes. While, if you go to school online, like me, then you can take notes while you read your assignments. Something that I learned is that you can use blue ink to write things out and it'll help you to remember better, which is something, you know, is smart you know and also writing things out can help you memorize and understand them better because you have to honestly if you're like me you have to think while you're writing so like you're writing a sentence and you're like okay yeah that's what i want to say and you know <laughs> think it out a little bit <laughs> i do that i don't know if you do that too comment down below if you do or you don't but at the end of the day writing it out can be very helpful if you're not much of a writer and you like to type your notes, type your notes out, but be sure to not just overlook them. Make sure that you're actually looking at them. Make sure that you're actually looking at them and reading them so you understand what is exactly going on in your class. Notes can actually help you with like your test, you know? So you never know when your teacher's like, hey, you can use your notes on this test. And if you have notes, then it's like, a plus plus duh Next tip would be recognize your learning style so there are different types of learning styles that are useful i can't remember off the top of my head check the link out down below in the description box to figure out your learning style and how to actually incorporate that into your life because i feel like your learning style is so resourceful not all teachers teach you the same way i'm a visual learner and i'm real hands-on they have words for it but you know we're just gonna keep it simple here okay so i'm a visual learner i know that about myself and i learn with my hands i know that about myself so some things that help me when it comes to these assignments because i'm not directly in a classroom with a professor i get on youtube and i look up stuff on youtube or i utilize google because i can easily search things on google and i can read so I read stuff too. Honestly, this is last case scenario, but it could be first case scenario sometimes is to ask your professors and to ask your classmates for help, which is, you know, completely fine. That's what you go to school for. You're paying to be in a class. So talk to your professor, actually establish a relationship with your professor. You never know like what type of doors can be open because of that. It's not something I always utilize because you know, I just I wanted to get my degree and get out. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, actually a lot of good things can come out of actually getting to know your professors and your classmates. Um, Another thing to add to this tip would be to get a tutor. So you can find a tutor online or you can find a tutor at your school. I think tutors at schools are free. I think. Don't quote me on that. But definitely utilize tutors because they're helpful. This is another tip that I'm really, really, really guilty of would be studying while I'm sleepy, studying while I'm tired, studying while I'm hungry. Like you can't produce the best version of yourself when it comes to studying. Then you need to go and take care of yourself first and then go on and do your assignment. Because if not, you'll be sitting there thinking about how hungry you are. Oh, go and get some. Oh my god! I'm just so hungry! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh!
my god, I'm so hungry. Ah. Or you'll be sitting there thinking about how tired you are. And then you won't even want to do your assignment or you won't even do your assignment to the best of your ability because you're too busy thinking about something else, another need that you need to be fulfilled. So I would say make sure you are fed and you can always eat while you're doing an assignment but that's kind of a distraction too if you're not good at it <laughs> but yeah so make sure you are fed make sure you are well rested and make sure you have you something nice you know next to you to drink i always keep me a water bottle somewhere to keep me nice and hydrated while i'm doing my work because it's important I had to get some water. I have been talking for a long time here. Now, last but not least, is something that I'm about to do on this paper too, is to check off my goals. My goal was to complete this video before school started for you guys. And I'm checking it off of my list. Make sure you are checking your goals off your list. If your goal is to get an A this semester, write out how you're going to achieve that goal and check it off and every time you check it off reward yourself because you accomplished something great and next thing you know your check boxes are all going to be filled and then you're going to have that a for the semester and you get yourself an even bigger reward for sticking to your goals and accomplishing everything that you desire so i hope this video was helpful i hope that these tips were helpful and if you can hear the rain, it's really coming down outside and I'm sorry. But yeah, thank you for being so patient with me. Thank you for 500 subbies. We're on our way to 600 subbies. And you know, 1K, we go live, we get to stream, we get to talk, do everything we wanna do. At 1K, I am giving away a gift. So if you wanna be a part of that, it's only for my subbies. You wanna be a part of it, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Comment your IG below so I can connect with you, so you can connect with me, all right? And yeah, we're gonna get to it. So peace and hair grease, see you in my next video, and um, happy new years. <laughs>